A new star season alpha 3.23 EPTU patch just dropped not too long ago and we're going straight into the patch notes. This one is actually pretty special as they're finally dropping the engineering gameplay in Arena Commander for players to test. Also, they did mention that if all goes well with this build, they may release it to further waves. Hopefully all goes well. All right, so let's go straight into the patch notes. Under features and gameplay, under AI, it says they've removed infinite ammo and capacitor from AI piloted ships. Under the gameplay category, maps and UI polish pass has been done. Water interaction visual polish pass has been done. Under the core tech, they've made client shader cache performance optimizations. Under bug fixes for the PU, they fixed a star map dead zone while in pilot seat issue they also fixed an issue where the star map is losing all functionality after qt they fixed an issue causing full or partial search results on the star map to not be clickable they fixed an issue where you're opening the moby glass or inventory causes black artifacts to appear on screen they fixed an issue where the asset page is stuck forever loading the second time the tab is selected. So now this is for your mobile glass. They fix an issue where players can be kicked for being idle whilst they are in mid flight or quantum travel. They fix an issue where mission contracts app drop down cannot be collapsed in mobile glass app, sometimes preventing mission contracts from being able to be selected. They fix an issue where wallet is not updated on the escort beacon creation. They fix an issue where NPCs are shaking, jittering when pathing through the PU. They fix an issue where prompt moves sporadically around. They fix an issue where prompt moves sporadically around its entities popping between various bouncing box points. They fix an issue where being too close to kiosk when interacting causes camera to shake. So now this is for the fleet manager. They fixed another issue where cargo crates can disappear upon placing them onto a ship's cargo grid in various ships. They fixed an issue where sticky throttle is missing in HUD induction, so it's hard to use it. Also, cannot accept shared mission due to incorrect mission invite notification has been fixed. Also, randomize all doesn't affect eye color, um, which has been fixed for the character customizer. The Copian creatures sometimes do not move or attack players, that's been fixed. Whilst holding a grenade, performing the helmet unequipped or equipped. Two hip action does not force a player out of prone, that's been fixed. They also fixed an issue where interdiction for 890 jump interior elevators are missing text, failed to respond to input. Along with this is five client crashes, two server crashes, a client deadlock, and a backend service crash fix. All right, so let's move on into the Arena Commander patch notes. Okay, so it says starting tonight with the new build, we are enabling a new Arena Commander game mode to test engineering gameplay. This game mode is special limited test used to collect feedback on several features being developed for the upcoming engineer gameplay for star citizen vehicles it is not representative of the current persistent universe or intended final version of the game during the avocado phase please do not pvp in the engineering free flight game mode use this as a familiarization ground and save the pvp for the other engineering modes in arena commander so under new features it says three new game modes dual which is a2 versus a2 Squadron battle, which is going to be A2 versus Gladius and then free flight. So now some key functions that they're going to be adding into this is the first one is going to be fuses. So each player has fuses in inventory. These can be used to fill empty slots in the relay or exchange broken fuses of the relay. Interesting. So it's not just the components you're going to be managing but also the fuses that connect these components interesting all right so next is engineering panels it says this panel gives players an overview of the state of the components and how they are connected here players will be warned about not sufficient power and if items are damaged and require repair additionally players will see the states of players where warning will be 
issued for missing or broken fuses. Players can interact with the items to gain access to the control buttons for the items here on and off and the status overview of the specific item. Interesting. So next is hull penetration. It says damage done by attacking ships will now penetrate the hull and will damage ship items below. Players can now target the area of ships where the ship components are placed. The penetration effect is strengthened by the players bringing down the integrity of the hull, which is a hull pool. And they also have a disclaimer here. It says for testing purposes, energy weapons will penetrate the hull a little. This is not intended for the actual release. So in the future, you're definitely going to need to have a combination of ballistics and lasers, which I think is a good thing. So now under power management, it says power management is partially presented in this experimental mode where the focus is on simply turning items on and off to achieve power balance on the ship. The ship will start with all items on and will start consuming power directly from the battery. To recharge the battery, players need to make sure that there is more power produced by the power plant than is consumed and the batteries are switched on. Interesting. So if you're running a fully crewed A2 and then everything is everything is running at 100%, you're probably not going to be producing enough power to recharge the battery and if you lose battery power, you may be in some critical trouble. So it's going to be interesting to be balancing that as well as the health of the components. Very exciting stuff. Next is repair. It says players have a multi-tool with them to repair damaged ship items using the salvage repair mode. This mode will consume RMC canisters to bring back to health of your ship component. Additionally, we will use this mode as a test bed for some weapon balance experiment. It says this test will run on the EPTU servers in a reader commander. Access will be limited depending on currently open waves starting with Evo Kadi. You guys already know what to do. My organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video.